What's up guys? I'm Zach Evans and today I'm going to teach you guys how to develop left and right hand independence. A lot of you guys have been emailing me that you can do the left hand perfectly, you can do the right hand perfectly of a song, but when you try to put them together your brain gets all messed up and you can't seem to develop that, that independence between the hands. So today I'm going to give you three separate tips and if you follow these three tips you should be able to play anything hands together. Alright and for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be playing the song All of Me by John Legend because it has like a syncopated left hand pattern that might be difficult to play with the right hand. So the left hand's going to, going to sound like this. And the right hand's going to be something like this. Okay, now we're going to work on trying to get these two perfectly together. Step one, make sure you can play both hands separately flawlessly. And when I mean flawlessly, not sloppy at all. So if, you're, if I'm playing the left hand for this, it's not... You want to get it flawless so it's... practice the right hand same thing and a little quick tip when you're playing the left hand put your right hand on the piano a lot of people they'll put it by their side they might put it on their lap but it's easier for your brain to kind of recognize hey my right hand could be playing something right now while my left hand is playing so whenever you practice hands separate make sure you have both hands on the piano so that's the first step make sure you have each hand solid a lot of people don't they have it kind of solid but it's a little sloppy and if each hand is a little bit sloppy when you try to put them together it's not going to match up and it's going to freak you out so that's step one all right on to step two so now that you can play right hand and left hand flawlessly perfectly we want to work on getting hands together getting the rhythm solid before we even think about adding the melody because if you can't do the rhythm by itself there's no way you're going to be able to add the melody so to develop this we tap the rhythm with our hands. We don't worry about the melody. All we focus on is the rhythm. So for this song, it would sound something like this. And if you can't get the rhythm on the first try like that, start doing left hand alone, just the rhythm, right hand alone, just the rhythm, just to get used to kind of tapping on your leg. It shouldn't take that long to get that down and then try to get them together. And once you can get the rhythm solid, now the rhythm's in your brain and all you have to focus, is, focus on is the melody. So that's step two is rhythm, now on to step three. Now step three is taking very small sections of the song and then adding notes to those sections. So what you do is start at the first note of the song, so it's gonna sound like this. That's easy, right, it's just one note. Now do the first two notes. That's easy too. Now the first three notes. Now the first four notes. Now the first five notes. First six notes. And you keep progressing like that until you hit a tough spot. And what I realize about playing hands together is a lot of times there's just a series of like four or five notes that's really hard. It's not the whole thing is hard. There's just a couple notes in there that really mess you up and it messes you up for the rest of the song. So if you can drill in those five notes, four or five notes really well, then it's going to make the whole thing easy. So you do that, the added rhythm or the added notes until you find um, that spot that's kind of hard and challenging for you. And then you take that really slow and just drill it in and drill it in and drill it in. And once you get that down, you'll be able to go from the beginning and play the whole thing hands together. Alright, that's all I got for you guys today. Really hope that helped you guys improve your hand independence. If you guys have any other requests that you want me to do tutorials on, feel free to either message me in the comments below or you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or email me, Zach at ZachEvansMusic.com. And if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I'll put the link right up here. 
And that's all I got for you guys, so peace out.